Oh, we're a small core of fans, you know. You can say we've probably 300 fans, you know. We've got a lot of fans who live away who don't always get to games, but, you know, they're hard knit fans, and when we go away, the, the noise they make is absolutely tremendous, you know. <laughs> I actually played one game away at Blackpool Game Rovers in 1995 when the goalkeeper Bob and I were on the coach doing the physio and the manager said to me, uh, get your boots on, you're playing. And I was 42 year old. <laughs> so yeah, I've been involved for a lot of years and you know, it's one of my loves. So I love the club throughout. What was it like seeing Bradford drop down and out of the Football League? It was it was disaster, absolute. Nobody nobody anticipated it happening, you know. And the day when they actually the boat came and actually kicked the the announcement, Cambridge United into the football league at the expense of Bradford Park. I mean, there were, there were Bradford fans who were literally crying. They really were, you know. And it was just thought everybody thought, well, right, where do we go from here? And, Probably the oldest guy here, I think. Um, uh, I've been following Bradford Park Avenue since I was eight year old. Started off going to see the reserve team when it was threatened a time to get in. Um, used to take a little box to stand on because I wasn't tall enough to see properly. Um, what was it like seeing Bradford drop down at the Football League? For me at that age, it was heartbreaking really. <laughs> Never recovered from it. Um, and it'll be a while before we get back there, I think. How would you sum up your time of supporting Bradford in one word? Uh, difficult. <laughs> difficult with highs and lows, effectively. You know, uh, the highs, you know, they're there. You know, I, I didn't see any of the big games when they played Manchester United in the 40s and Manchester City, Arsenal. But um, it, from the mid-60s, I were about when Kevin Hector, the prolific goal scorer, were about and the sadness of getting relegated kept the club going best we could on the, in the Sunday morning league. Um, I, in that I played, I was on that board, I, I managed the club in that period of time. And then ultimately coming back onto the main club when we were involved in society. Yeah, when uh, um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to get promotion this year, do we? No, well, well, ten years ago yeah. we were told that in five years we'd be at Premiership, but it didn't turn out that way. It didn't work out that way, no. But, no. <laughs> yeah. no it's, uh, I think you know, we're probably destined to stay as a non league club for a number of years, and it'd rather depend on whether we go up or down as to whether that will ever change. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be quite happy in five years' time if we did the conference and had a couple of good FA Cup rooms during that time as well.